All right, assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to the ICP update today. ICP is a little bit slow. I think uh, this is because of Bitcoin and, you know, my stops got taken out. But this was very well measured trade. 13.2, stop at 12.6 and just a little bit of money being thrown to try the pattern. Couldn't play out. For some reason, I think there's a fake out right over here because I do see this little bit of a falling wedge over there and it kind of kind of had a fake out right over there and it seems like you may actually pump back up to the highest part of the wedge and that's also where the next resistance is going to be so basically if you do end up coming back to the wedge it still is going to be a pump back to that resistance so one two three and if you break above that resistance you're looking for maybe an 18 dollar because this is a whole pattern to take you up to 18 dollars now things are a little bit slow here in the market because uh, ETF has been approved but still no too much of fun party anymore. People are expecting that ETF is going to do something. But I kind of think this is a, you know, buy the rumor and sell the news kind of a situation where ETF is going to get approved but people are going to get even more excited. But then again, the market actually drops down and ETF announcement doesn't really work but i think etf is still good you know the fact that it's getting approved is actually good even if you go down because you know bitcoin went from twenty four thousand all the way up to nearly fifty thousand now so if you do take some bumps here and there that's pretty okay i don't think it's a big deal and uh i want to show you you know bitcoin chart at the moment because bitcoin is definitely going to influence uh you know this coin any coin actually out there in the market so what i do see for bitcoin here is this one big resistance i've actually been trying my best to see what's going on and you do have this as your supply area which is all the way up to fifty two thousand dollars so yes if bitcoin makes it up to 52k before dropping i won't be surprised number one uh that's a big resistance you have uh a touch right over there and a move down right came for the retest but you ended up failing the retest you went down again you came up you got the touch there you moved down once again so you could actually be rejected here and actually go down because there's a psychological number of forty nine thousand dollars and forty nine actually kinds of make you think fifty because when you say forty nine people start think fifties and you just round off the number to the closest uh, possible number so 49 means 50 41 means 50 uh sorry 41 means almost 40 right so thing is that you may round off the number here or if you just go above 50 and then touch 53 or 52 then from here if you do get rejected that's a very very straight uh push to the downside and i do see this trend line working out so one touch uh two touch here if you ever come down this is the trend line you may hold at 34,000 and then bounce off here continue like this until we don't really push above and actually push even to ninety thousand dollars and that's when icp may get to that eighty dollars so we're looking for a time stretched until further further um move to the year so this is going to be maybe in october 2024 and october is actually a good month in crypto so yeah a lot of time you know eighty dollars won't come uh in, in an overnight situation i'm really trying my best here to kind of navigate what time it is number two is you know halving is around the corner and bitcoin never pumps before halving but it actually pumps some four to five months after halving so if halving is two months later you're talking about march okay and if you start to pump after three months of halving which means march plus three that takes you almost to june july august maybe that department of august and october and that's when bitcoin starts to go absolutely crazy and push even to two hundred thousand dollars and then that's when icp gets that glorious uh push to the upside so yes uh when bitcoin actually does come down i may expect icp even though even though there's a little bit of chances to actually get to 29 dollars uh but i do see a bearish divergence and i have to mention that you are moving up for icp and the bearish divergence is there number two icp on the rsi is completely overbought okay historical place to see icp go down for the rest just like it did here 
uh, it did right over here it did right over there it can actually happen one more time right over here and that's still normal I'm not really negative on the uh, long-term department I am very bullish on ICP for for the long term so if it does come down I actually do look to get a little bit of more ICP that would be really really good for me and that's it for the video I'm going to see you the next one I love is